Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Join our Facebook group, Discovering Newfoundland. Good morning from Blackhead, Adams Cove, Newfoundland. Today we are hiking Gusset Cove to Western Bay, 11.7 kilometers in and out. It should be a great hike, so let's go and see what we can discover. So far the trail's been uh, pretty wide. It's like an ATV trail or an old uh, cart trail. We come around the corner and look at that scenery. It is just fantastic. Right near the beginning of the trail there was a big bog that uh, was so flooded we couldn't uh, walk through it so we tried to rock, walk around it. That brought us down to the ocean edge here which is fantastic because it is beautiful. So if you do come down, you can get around it by going down to the ocean. The alternative route was great and we looked at it. It's beautiful up here. We've got some wave action too. Icing on the cake. We managed to navigate around the bog. We're back up on the trail. Looks like next we're going to head through the community of Adams Cove. Uh, we haven't seen any markers on the trail yet, so Hopefully once we get to the other side of the community, we can find where to pick up the trail. That is one beautiful shoreline. Look at the color of the water. Look at that community back there. It's beautiful. Oh, it's a lovely little community, isn't it? You put your hood on, you little cool there, babe. <laughs> it's a bit breezy here today. <laughs> We're at a bit of a crossroads here. Uh, there's no signage to say where the trail actually goes. I think we're gonna stick to the right and because uh, that's towards the ocean still. Uh, the left I think would take you back up to the main highway, I'm not sure, but yeah, we're gonna try the right here. So here looks like the remnants of uh, an old boat launch, probably from the cod days. This is where they would uh, put their boats into the ocean. Beautiful shoreline here. It is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Wow, there's so much going on with the ocean today. It's really alive. The trail ended a little ways back. We got onto a road, walked through a little community, and now we're back on the trail again. So we're going to continue on, and hopefully we'll have some sort of signage telling us which route to take. I'm really hoping that the uh, path goes up to the head of that hill right there. It looks like there would be some fantastic views. Even if it doesn't hunt, maybe we should just uh, walk up it anyways. Yeah, well, we could always see where the path leads us and, and then maybe we'll veer off a little bit. Looks like maybe an old garden here. Maybe an old pasture for like goats or sheep. Yeah, could be. I don't know if you can see it or not, hun, but it looks like there's something right at the tippity top there of the hill. Yeah, I saw that. Maybe it's a, somebody's put some sort of rock platform or something up there. We've reached another crossroads. We're going to take the one to the right because we think that one might be the one that goes up on the hill. So we're going to check that out and if not, we're going to come back and follow the trail we've been following. We just started walking up the hills and uh, this is the view looking back. That is some pretty countryside. Just gorgeous. Love the little dotting of the community, the shoreline. We made it up to the first peak. We're looking at the second peak that we want to go to, but man, oh man, how beautiful is this? Yeah, that is gorgeous. Rock formation. So glad we decided to come up and see if we can get up to that point. Just spectacular. Yeah, and the ocean below is a nice aqua color. Lots of colors in the rocks, just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful here today. I wish it was a little clearer though, there's a mist over the ocean. But man, oh man, it's just beautiful. Yeah, we got a gorgeous view up ahead too, so looking forward to that. Got a tree just hanging on the edge there. This is a long ways down. Made it to the top. There's quite the view up here. Gorgeous. A little breezy up here, my dear. 
very breezy. <laughs> I think the community over there is Western Bay, where we're headed. We're headed out to the lighthouse, so can't see it yet, but got to be getting closer. Just in the bottom left of the frame here, you can see the trail at the bottom of the hill. One house there right on the coast. What a beautiful spot. Yeah, they definitely have quite the scenery and quite the view. We are here in wide open spaces and you really have to look for the footed path because really it's down to a two foot path. Yeah, it looks like the main path might be lower than what we are right now. Yeah. We'll have to work our way back down to it. But we're walking along the coastline and we have some gorgeous views, so it's a good day. We are on the main path, but we just look to the left and we see this mound with the fence around it. We think it might be an old root cellar, so we're going to go over there and check it out before we continue on. I think the root cellar is from the 1830s, so it'll be interesting to see. By George, I think we found it. <laughs> looks pretty cool in there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks awesome. It's pretty deep too. It's pretty cool. So this is inside the root cellar. Just incredible how they made these. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick up the ceiling in here because it is pretty dark. But just look at that. That's incredible engineering. Just made from rocks in the 1830s. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's pretty incredible in there though, isn't it? It is. It's surprising that it has a peak for a roof. It's taken a long time to do that. Wish we had a flashlight yeah, to get it's a better neat. view. We did find the sign for the root cellar. If you're coming in off the Western Bay side, you would see it. But if you're coming in from the Gusset Cove where we came from, uh, this is actually the first sign we've seen. The sun's coming out a little bit more. Just beautiful here. It's clearing up and it's just making for a great photo opportunity. We came across this sign close to the house there. Uh, we're assuming it's the lighthouse path because there's a picture of a lighthouse and walking, but it's to me it's not very clear because it almost looks like this person's driveway. And then off to the right, we have a little bunny with a carrot that says, this way to the root cellar. Wow, the ocean's quite live today, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful here. Once in a while, this huge wave comes and hits the rock. Here it is. Woo! Yay! Oh, another one too. I love how the water flows off the rock. Oh, look at that. Oh. These views are outstanding. Just gorgeous. Looks like we have a little bit of quartz veined through that rock. We came across this rock. They carved the stone with something because it's quite deep. It's not just a light impression. Just looking behind us and look at that view. It's just a little piece of paradise. Up on top of the hill here, there's all kinds of rock walls. This must have been an old community here, and this is where the gardens were. This rock wall is so much bigger than the rest. I just wonder if it's like the entrance to the community or if it was like a major farming plot. Scattered throughout where the rock walls are up here, there's all these white posts. I'm not sure what they are, maybe the, where property markers are at one time. If anybody knows what they are, leave a comment below. Here's looking back where we're coming from. Just a beautiful scene here. Gorgeous scenery. Look at it. It's like a multi-layer of mountains and mountains. We just got our first glimpse of the Western Bay Lighthouse. It looks like we got a little bit more to go. We've been walking this open area, zigzagging, because we really have lost the little trail. But you can see the lighthouse, and that's a good thing. Yeah, so I, I think we're going to do is go down a little bit closer to the coast. Uh, get out of the barrens here, it might be a little easier to walk. Uh, we totally lost the path, but we think we met up with it closer to the coast. 
And look at this coastline. Oh my goodness, the rocks, there's this orange on top of it. It's just incredible. And the swells of water that you see in front. Oh, just gorgeous. Look at that rock there. It looks like the center's been carved out. It does. It looks like it was carved out and then they decided to stop. <laughs> My brother-in-law is from Western Bay. I wonder if he ever played down here when he was a boy. What's the color of that water? Are you seeing that green? Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It looks like you could just sort of jump in there. It's like a pool. Oh, uh, it's pretty cold today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you come out with icicles on your nose. Oh, jeez, that's beautiful. It's gorgeous. We have lots of foam. Yeah, sea foam up. <laughs> it's beautiful down there. Oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous scene right here. I caught some sea foam. <laughs> <laughs> Here's on the other side of the cliff where I was saying it looks like the rock was uh, carved. Just amazing here. How beautiful. that orange rock. Yeah, you can really see the lichen on the rock. It's pretty awesome. It looks incredible against the blue ocean. We actually haven't even made it to the lighthouse yet because we've been so enthralled with all these rock formations down here. Pretty incredible out here. Well, we made it to the lighthouse. Looks like there's some picnic tables out here if you want to have a picnic. Where do you want to go next? Los Angeles, Moscow, Japan? Right here at the lighthouse, there's a bench. You can overlook the bay. I got a little distracted. I saw that tuft of grass and I thought it was fur and I thought we spotted another fox or something. <laughs> yeah. Easy to mistake but from far away that's for sure. We've decided to make this hike a little bit longer today. We're actually going to take uh, kind of a loop. We're going to go down to the Western Bay Painted Boardwalk Trail and I believe that meets up with the trail that we can take over by the root cellar. We've been looking for a place to have a picnic today uh, but we haven't found one that's been out of the wind and the wind coming off the ocean today has been really icy yeah, so right. yeah we would need we would like to get a little bit of break from that and uh, so we're going to take this road instead. Here's the start of the painted boardwalk from uh, the lighthouse side and uh, a lot of the boards here on the on the bottom have been painted by uh, uh, people just their memory and their names and whatnot. Visitors that come want to choose a board to have painted. You can see how nice and colorful people have painted these boards. Looks fantastic. Some of the boards are painted with lovely memories, just a nice painted scene, messages, or even just their name to say that they were here. Hun, look what we spotted. Yeah, that's my big sister and brother-in-law there. Looks like you need to come home and paint your, paint your boards again. Looks like we did come the right way, coming out through the painted boardwalk and uh, the root cellar is off to the right so we can go back that way and get out of the wind for a bit. That's what the lighthouse used to look like. It was replaced by a steel tower and automated light in 1968. What do you see on there, hen? Little messages, people's last names. Yeah, I recognize a few names there. We have quite a lovely view of Western Bay's little community. Just lovely. We're back at the crossroads we were at earlier when we decided to go up to the peak. This time we followed the path down this way 
Uh, it's a very easy path, it was very wide. Once you start going up there and then going around to the lighthouse, there were some parts we lost the trail. Uh, but you get, you get to the point where you see the lighthouse and you just, you know, walk in that direction, you're okay. But uh, yeah, this, this path here is uh, much easier to navigate through. Yeah. So this was a good hike. Uh, really enjoyed the views on top of the hills there. Uh, Western Bay Lighthouse, the rock formations there were just fantastic. That was just beautiful there. It was a great hike. It was a real leg burner. Um, we really enjoyed it. Great coastal views. Again, like Wilson said, those rock formations, oh, just fantastic.